Uh, next story, drone found at the bottom of the American River reveals insane 100-foot bridge jump. Yeah, so we got uh, Merman Mike again. Merman Mike is the dude that, that cruises around the waterways of the Sacramento area looking for stuff underwater. He does the American River and the Sacramento River mostly. I mean, he'll go to, you know, the Yuba and stuff like that, but mostly he's on the Sacramento American. So he he just cruises around and either people tell him where they lost stuff and he goes and finds it or he just cruises around and finds stuff. And he finds a lot of stuff. He's Check out his YouTube page, Merman Mike. But he found a drone on the bottom of the American River and... He pops out that SD card, which it's shocking that that SD card are most SD cards waterproof. I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. I, I don't think that water would affect it that much. They don't have like circuitry in it. It's just kind of. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good question. So, well, it worked. He popped the SD into his uh, <laughs> into his computer and it reveals a massive hundred foot leap off of the truss bridge which is not only super dangerous but super illegal and yeah he even comments that he was kind of scared while watching it you know he was the first to ever actually see this content he didn't know this guy he didn't know if the guy lived or died so that'd be hard to watch you know you see a guy jump off a bridge he could, could potentially be his last jump yeah so i i don't think he found the guy there's a there's Yet. a yeah so there no well there's a clear picture of the jumper and my assumption is the jumper doesn't want to come forward because it is now public that he made this illegal jump. And if they announce it, that, uh, you know, he'll be fined. I wonder if he low-key reached out to Merman Mike and was like, hey, yeah. it was me. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Merman Mike, he, you know, he went on uh, different news channels and uh, he basically said, um, I'm not judging you. I'm not condoning what you're doing, but here's your drone. You know, whoever took the footage and whoever jumped, whether they're different people, but it's a gnarly jump. Absolutely. It's a great, you know, Merman Mike's coming out with some great content with, you know, the rings and the things that he's finding. The $17,000 ring he found in the uh, Sacramento River. Yeah. And the guy that owns this footage, I guess, I mean, clearly wouldn't be coming and asking for the drone. The drone has got to be completely ruined being I would underwater think so. that long. And yeah. so really what he would be hoping for is just to collect the content. But honestly, Mermi and Mike might have made that content more relevant because it was like kind of totally. went viral. And so, you know, I mean, if there's no other cool videos on it, it might even just be better just to kind of leave it alone. I... Merman Mike must have just, I mean, he, I'm sure he posted it on social media and then the news outlets reached out to him from there. But he's, I mean, he's just using this for press, right? He doesn't necessarily care that someone. No, it's an electric video. I mean, it needs to be shared and Merman Mike totally. found it first. It's, might as well. It's, 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 if you find the content at the bottom of the river, that's your content. Thousand percent. Agree. I don't know what the copyright infringement rules on that are, but I, I'm, I'm, claiming right now that he gets to use that content for his own. Um, my question is, and I I actually, you know, with the people who jump off Bernie Falls and they get video of it, an illegal jump, um, I wonder if authorities will go and find that person if they are publicly, you know, uh, announced and just send them a ticket. I wonder if that's how it's done. Because I know, you know, like Nick Coulter, who jumped off Bernie Falls, he got a, a ticket in the mail. That's for, right. I forgot about that. I think that. it was like 150 bucks. But um, so I wonder if they would, if they publicly announced who jumped off this, and they'd be like, "Okay, yeah, we found him in the database. Here's a here's a ticket for you." I wouldn't shock me, definitely. It wouldn't shock me either. But uh, yeah, it, it, it the jump is it's big and it's it's scary, and this guy is kind of a badass for doing it. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah.